Let's graph the linear equation y equals x plus 9. And we're going to do this with a table of values here. Put a value in for x, get a value for y, plot the point. I'm going to choose values for x I know are going to fit on the graph here. So if I put, say, 0 in for x, 0 plus 9, that would give me a 9 for y. That would be way down here. So why don't we try some negative numbers like, I don't know, negative 3. Because negative 3 plus 9, that's just 6. That'll fit. How about negative 5? Negative 5 plus 9, that's just 4. So negative 5 that gives us 4 here for y. And how about we do, oh, negative 9. Negative 9 plus 9, that's 0. But I don't want to do negative 9. That would be too far. So how about negative 7? Negative 7 plus 9, that gives me 2. So negative 7 would give me 2. Now I can plot these points. So I just chose these so they would fit here on the graph. All right, well, we've got negative 3 for x and 6 for y, that's our first point, negative 5 for x and 4 for y. You can see they line up there nicely, but it's good to have a third point. Negative 7 for x and then 2. There we go. That lines up real nice. Let's put a line through that. I'll put arrows to show that goes to infinity. That is the line for y equals x plus 9. You could also use slope-intercept form to do this. That works just as well. You'll get the same graph, same line here. That's it. This is Dr. B graphing y equals x plus 9. Thanks for watching.